everyone! I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little face scrubby. And the written tutorial is on my website, so be sure to follow along with the video with the written pattern um, so that it's easy to follow. Now, let's get started. What you'll need is some 100% cotton yarn. Um, I really like the Lily Sugar and Cream yarn. And um, you're going to need a matching hook for this, the weight of yarn that you use. So with this medium weight 4 yarn, um, I'm using a 6 millimeter hook. And um, let's get started. So what you're going to do first for round 1 is make a magic ring. Like so. And let me just get these out of the way so that it's visually less distracting. Here we go. All right. So magic ring to start. In the magic ring, you're going to chain one. So getting ready. I'm going to chain one. And then you're going to insert six of the little puff stitches that I've detailed on my site. So here's what it looks like. Yarn over, go in, pull one out, that's one. Yarn over, pull in, pull one out, two. And yarn over, go in, pull one out, three. So do that three times like so. Yarn over, pull all the way through all those loops. Oops, there we go. All right, and then you're going to do a chain to close off that puff. Now, this is a mini puff. Normally, um, for other puff stitches that I use, I would do the um, um, hooking over four times instead of three, but um, I find that these mini poofs are a lot easier and um, um, definitely simpler to pull through and the size works for this pattern. So let's make five more puffs on this magic ring. Pull in, that's one, two, three. Pull them up, yarn over, and then pull through all of those loops. You might have to wiggle your hook a little bit to get across. Chain. There's my second puff. Next one, yarn over, go in one, two, three. Yarn over and pull in those puffs. Chain. Three more puffs to make. There. So now that you've put six puffs on your um, magic ring. You're going to close the ring, pull it, pull it, and see how my puffs just kind of um, scrunch together? Now you're going to close up this magic ring by putting a slip stitch on the first um, chain on top of the first puff, which is right here. So I'm going to insert my hook into the chain on the first puff, yarn over and do a slip stitch, like so. Here's my cute little puff so far. It looks like a flower. <laughs> now, for the next round, um, you're going to chain one and add a single crochet to um, the top of the puff. Oops, I'm sorry. Excuse me, chain one. And um, what you're going to do next is insert a puff on the top of each puff and in that chain one space around. Okay? So here's what it'll look like. You're going to make a puff up here in that very first um, stitch on top of the puff. So that's one over, pull out two, and one more, three. I like to pull on my hook a little bit so I could get them all um, lined up to be the same height. Yarn over and wiggle your hook through. 
chain to close. There's one puff. Now you're going to put another puff in the first uh, chain one space. One, two, three. Close it with a chain. And next one would go on top of this second puff in the previous row, round, up here. One, two, three, chain, then in that chain one space, one, two, three, all right, chain to close, and you kind of get the drill, so I'm going to go through this part a little faster. finish all 12 of the poofs in the second round, what you're going to do is to join with a slip stitch in that first, um, on top of that first puff. So I'm going to find that chain, that first chain that I made, insert my hook and do a slip stitch. There we go. So that's my first I'm sorry, that's my second round of puffs. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the third round of puffs. Chain one to start, and it's pretty much the same as the previous round because you're going to insert a puff on top of each puff and one in the chain one space. So you're going to end up with 24 puffs in the third round. I'm going to do the first couple slowly, and then I'll speed through the rest of the round so I don't bore you to death. So let's get started on that first uh, stitch right here. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull out, one, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through all of them, chain to close your puff. Now in that chain one space, do the same. One, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through, chain to close. All right, so now I'm going to speed through the rest of this round. very end here I finish this um, round three with 24 puff stitches. I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the first chain on my first poof. I mean on my first puff. Sorry. This is a bath poof and these are puff stitches. Gotta get my words right. Okay. Slip stitch here. There. And now, to finish off my um, bath poof, I, oh gosh, I really got to get my words right. I, I'm making a bath poof as part of this set. Here's what it looks like. And this is a face scrubby. Okay, excuse me, I'm totally discombobulated today. All right, so to finish this off, what you're going to do is do one more round and all that's gonna happen this round is a single crochet in each of these stitches around. 
So I'm going to chain one to start and I'm going to insert a single crochet in the same stitch which is on top of that poof, uh, on top of that puff, <laughs> sorry. Oops. Chain, okay, single crochet on top of that puff and in the chain one space do a single crochet as well single crochet on the puff, single crochet in the chain one space, in the puff, in the chain one space, and around. So I'm going to go through this part quickly. crocheting around so I'm going to join this round with a slip stitch to that first stitch. The first stitch is the first single crochet so I'm going to insert my hook into the first single crochet and join with that slip stitch. All right and after that you can cut off your yarn, fasten off, and you're going to weave in the ends here, weave in this end and then pull back this yarn end to weave in as well and then you've got yourself a cute little face scrubby. So I'll go ahead and weave that in and then you'll see all three of them together. Alright, thank you so much for watching my tutorial and again it will be helpful um, to go ahead and crochet this along with the written pattern which is on my website. So feel free to check that out and if you have any questions or comments feel free to drop it in the comment section below. Thank you so much and happy crocheting!